What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is TBS Darth Wage back at you with another video yet again, and in this video, I want to give you my thoughts about Emperor Palpatine in Battlefront 2. Now, it has been quite some time since you have really seen me play as Emperor Palpatine on this channel. Well, it's time for me to go back to Emperor Palpatine, so let's go ahead and get on to this and discuss his abilities and some of his tactics. So, the first thing that we got is his Electrocute ability, which provides him a whopping one second of stun time compared to every other character in the game with a stun ability, which stuns them for a considerable amount of time, or what I would say a few seconds compared to Emperor Palpatine's one second. Why they have him with only like one second of stun time, I have no clue, but okay, whatever. Yeah, he has a star car that increases his lightning damage by like, I think 30% or something like that um, while they are stunned, but one second I hardly consider a considerable amount of time for that to do really anything. <laughs> to be honest but whatever it can be useful it can help you in some situations but I don't really see his stun ability really that effective to be honest with you I mean yeah alright so anyway with that being said let's get into his chain lightning now his chain lightning ability is actually very good it does a 120 damage per use which is really good and it can be chain linked to mul multiple targets without a star card not as many targets with the star card that um, allows you to hit more targets but it's still enough but anyway there is also a star card for everybody that you hit with your chain lightning it gives you like 25 health back which actually surprisingly for that small amount is really good on Emperor Palpatine I'm using it in this match and it actually can keep you alive and actually help you stay in the fight which to me I love his chain lightning ability now getting into his next ability which which would be his dark aura to me I love his dark aura I just wish it extended a little bit further you know, because he's not really a close range character, but this only helps out against characters that are really like in close proximity to Emperor Palpatine. Now, what this ability does, it does unblockable damage, small amount really, like a max of 180, I believe. And it also hinders the enemy's movement speed while they are in the dark aura which prevents characters like Anakin and stuff like that from running away however it does still kind of prove non-effective due to the fact that they can just use their dash attacks and escape out of it quicker anyway they can use Ray's um, uh, dash strike or whatever it's called and just run out of it Luke can use his um, dash attacks and get out of it and just keep running or just push you away and keep running you know stuff like that it's kind of stupid but okay so it kind of there are ways to defeat the purpose of the ability but is it still good yes it is good whenever Emperor Palpatine's dark aura is combined with his base lightsaber attack or his two-handed lightsaber attacks now with that being said uh, I still say that he's best paired with um, what's his name Bosk because of Bosk's un unblockable abilities he is good with other characters but boss combined with him equals a very good tactic of four unblockable well yeah four to five unblockable abilities you know so that really benefits now Emperor Palpatine's biggest downfall and I know you're, this is an unpopular opinion because Darth Maul, I mean, Emperor Palpatine does have a very good dodge, but it does not negate the fact that Emperor Palpatine cannot block. And I will state that for the same reasons that I stated about Darth Maul before he got his block ability. And that is for the simple fact of getting ragdolled the entire duration of a fight. See, for example, 
You hit him with Obi-Wan's mind trick, guess what? You take away his dodge. What, it, what is Emperor Palpatine forced to do? He's forced to jump, right? So then Anakin hits him with pull dominance, which snatches him out of the sky, and now he can't do anything. Literally. So now, then, while he's on the ground, he gets hit with heroic might, which ragdolls him again. And then he gets hit with passionate strike, or he gets hit with another push, or a chewy slam, or a Luke's repulse, or another push from Yoda, which basically can kill him with abilities alone. And for people who don't understand that is more than likely some people who play with a team. Like me, I'm playing with my crew right now. And you don't really see me getting ragdolled that much, and that's because, for one, sometimes you just get lucky on your dodges, and it uh, basically dodges the force power. Sometimes, not all the time. And But whenever you're mainly playing by yourself, you really get ragdolled the life out of you, literally. So that is why I'm saying that his standard lightsaber attack with the right trigger should just be two-handed attacks with lightning, and his left trigger should be his old Battlefront 2015 blocking capability, which blocked lightsabers and force powers and his, and um, blaster fire with his hands, which was a force power known as Tata Menace. Anybody who's a fan of the Star Wars franchise knows what Tata Menace is. But anyway, that's basically what Yoda uses as well but Emperor Palpatine knew, knew this force power as well so in, that's why they had it in Battlefront 2015 was because it, it was something that he actually knew how to do but anyway as you see right here I'm playing I'm facing off against a very bad Anakin and you're gonna be like that's a skill no he's just really bad anyway with that being said uh, that's what I, how, what I really think about Emperor Palpatine at this point is that all he needs is a block because with his ability he drains a lot of stamina with his standard lightsaber. With his standard force lightning attacks and a block wouldn't prevent him from using lightning even more. But anyway, that's going to cover this video. If you like the video, then please give me a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will catch you in my next video.